So hello there everyone, this is again Alan and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a super portable watercolor palette. The reason why I wanna have a super handy palette despite the fact that I already have this um, portable painter which is actually very fine is that I wanted something that really fits my watercol watercolor journal pocket because my watercolor journal pocket has this very uh, limited slot or space but I and I want something that really fits that the pocket for my uh, palette so uh, when I went to Starbucks I saw this classic mint tin and I got the idea of uh, converting it into a palette of course I didn't throw the candies and instead I uh, just moved them into my other candy tin which is not you know I think convertible into a watercolor palette what I really love about this uh, classic mint tin is it's very thin. I think it's just 5 millimeters or just thirds of the usual tin that we use for watercolor palette. It's by the way around 120 pesos if I'm not mistaken or more than 2 US dollars. So in order for me to convert it um, uh, into a watercolor palette, I uh, searched for bottles with plastic caps. And I found this Pokari Sweat uh, cap, and I found that it has this, uh, should I call it, um, mini cups, and it's shallow cups that can be uh, detached or can be removed. And I think it's very uh, good to uh, be a uh, watercolor container, and it fits also the thinness of this um Tin that we are gonna be using. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're going to cut two sides of this cap to release the inner cup, the shallow cup inside. So in doing this we're gonna be using a small knife. Be careful not to hurt yourself. So once you're done, you can just snap it like this and presto, you have this small cup, small cup which you can, uh, you can uh, remove this part and clean it. Just be careful not to cut yourself because no one's want to get hurt <laughs> in watercolor. So when you're complete, and you can also clean the edges, here's what it's gonna look like. And in this uh, classic mint stain from Starbucks, I got already uh, 12, uh, sorry, 11 caps. Unfortunately, 12 cannot fit, so it's only 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. So I chose 11 colors. It's hard for me to choose or eliminate one from my uh, 12 from the 12 colors that I use but anyway it's just a, a portable uh, palette so you can just uh, use a smaller number of colors and the brand that I've chosen for this portable palette is Daniel Smith and the colors that I'm gonna be using are sap green, ultramarine turquoise, phthalo blue, green shade, french ultramarine Lemon Yellow, Pyrrhal Scarlet, Kinacridone Rose, Yellow Ochre, Kinacridone Sienna, Indigo, and Raw Umber. So now we're gonna be putting our colors in our portable half pan. By the way, I've taped the cups here and I think there's a cure now. We're not gonna be putting lots of uh, of uh, paint here, since this is just a portable palette. And to uh, even it out, we're gonna be uh, tapping it several times later once they're complete. I think the capacity of each cap is um, one fourth or one fifth of a full pack Oops. 
Lemon yellow is leaking. It's very fluid. See? But I'm not, you know, removing this excess because I'm, I can use them directly. Be careful not to and then when you're done just tap them until they level down you can also use um, toothpick to spread them if you want so there you go so once we're done tapping and leveling our palette this is now how it looks like you can see that not all the colors level the same way because um, some colors are naturally more fluid than the other. So now we can proceed to uh, making our swatches. This paper that I chose seeps the pigments very fast and it's very porous. I don't think it's a good thing but it's just by the way for swatches so I'm good with that. So here are the, co here are the colors that I... Uh, choose for this very portable watercolor so I think I have to uh, let it sit or let it uh, dry a little bit more before I uh, insert it in my journal to just to be safe but I don't think they're gonna be uh, flowing that much but just to be safe I'll have to uh, leave it um, open for at least two nights or I mean just uh, avoid putting it upside down or one side higher just let go to avoid um, flowing if it's gonna be a risk so as you can see let's try it if it works so that's it so now I can uh, put it here after it dries and like there's no watercolor palette inside <laughs> and 
also can uh, put uh, my brush here. Put the palette here, the swatch, and maybe uh, another portable brush. By the way, for um, mixing, you can use this uh, side of the tin, the cover, but to avoid it from uh, rusting right away, you can use um, a plastic film, but I don't think it's gonna rust right away unless uh, you leave it um, you leave it uh, you leave it overnight without uh, drying it. Just like what just like what happened in my my other tin case, I left it uh, outdoors overnight and just overnight, this is what it got. So I hope you uh, enjoyed. My conversion of the classic mint tin from Starbucks to a very uh, thin and portable watercolor palette. So uh, hi there. We are now here in Bacolod where there are lots of cane fields. So um, I'm now testing out my DIY portable palette and so far I'm very satisfied. It's working very very fine. It's very convenient. And um, so now I'm painting uh, Canefield. We're actually on the road right now. We're on a moving car and um, um, this palette is working so fine. And uh, I hope you can also uh, make your own version of this. I hope you got something. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.